just going to make a, a little video here, really short, about uh, the colors that InDesign uses and, and what they mean, what they represent, why, why they're using them, etc. Okay, well, first, no, you're only going to see these colors if you're in the normal non-preview mode. Um, you can do that the really slow way through this drop-down menu. You can go from normal to preview and back again. There's another way, and that is you can just hit W on the keyboard. Of course, there's a, a potential problem in that. Um, if you were, for some reason, um, you know, working with type and blinking right there, you hit W, well, you're just going to produce W's on the keyboard or in your text. So make sure you do this. Hold down the command key first, get your arrow, click in space, and then you can go from preview off to preview on again, just with the W. And then one last trick, if you hit shift W, you can preview the entire document uh, as a spread. And you know, with the arrow keys, you can walk through that. But anyway, uh, let's escape that, hitting the escape key right now. And then um, we're getting back to these colors. Okay, so let's look at the first color. Uh, this green, why is it here? It's here because there's been a, a kerning change placed on this. So um, this is where your kerning is. And um, if we, you know, let's take some of this text. We'll take this text. We'll come here. This is, um, you know, kerning, tracking. It's more tracking. We'll, we'll set it to 10. And then we'll see that, yep, indeed, it recognizes it's changed. Is there a problem there? Um, well, let's just preview it. The letters are now slightly spaced out more than they are down here. Most people can't see a uh, tracking of 10 um, or a negative 10. So let's let's look at what negative 10 looks like. Um, but in in tracking, that's generally the the max I would personally go. I would not go any tighter than negative 10. I wouldn't go any larger than 10 in general. You know, maybe I'm working on a title or something like that. But for body copy, um, I normally just leave body copy at zero, and I think you'll you'll agree it's going to look better. Okay, so now if we unpreview that with body copy at uh, tracking zero, you can see that there's no more highlights there. So that's what the green means. All right, the next thing you'll see is pink. What, what is pink up to? Well, pink means there's a missing typeface. And when you look at the character palette, you can see in brackets the typeface is referenced there, but I don't have it on my computer, so the computer can't display it. So it just says, hey, there's something wrong here. Um, of course, you could replace it with the typeface you have and avoid that problem altogether. Who knows what you'd get if you turn this into a PDF. Okay, and the last thing is this great big bar to the left side. And that relates to the um, hyphenation. Hyphenation is something you set when you're dealing with the uh, paragraph palette. So let's take the paragraph palette over here. Uh, by default, and this is, to me is bizarre because I don't like hyphenation, it has a um, hyphenate on there. Meaning that if we run into a long word over here like this, it's going to just put this hyphenation dash there and then break the word. Um, could that work? Yeah. Um, without the hyphenation, you're going to get more of a rough rag. With the hyphenation, you'll probably get a cleaner rag. Um, but most people would say that non-hyphenated is going to be easier for people to read. So I'll let you um, make your choices. I'm going to encourage you to go to the non-hyphenate. 
But if you have an argument to um, hyphenate, then go for it. Um, maybe when we talk about uh, justifying the type, uh, you know, this is probably the best justify both left and right side. Um, you might want to need, you might, okay, you might need hyphenation if you go to uh, the full justify. All right, so now you know, I told you this would be short, so now you know how to turn preview on and preview off easier. You know what pink means, you know what this green means, and you know what this green bar means. Those are the main colors you'll be seeing. Um, the one that really requires uh, a fix is the pink. That's the danger because you don't have the typeface. The others are just InDesign letting you know, hey, you've made a change that's not based on our default settings. And I say that's okay because you guys are going to be good at typography, so you'll be in control. All right, that's it. Thank you.